Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm away, K Swedish Whiskey Girl, and today we're here with a lovely pot still whiskey, the Red Breast 15. But before we get started, I just want to say that if you like this lovely t-shirt that I've designed uh, on my Teespring shop, you now have an opportunity to win one. Just check out my Instagram, you have a little look on the post where I'm wearing it, and just follow the instructions there if you want to take part in winning one. But back to the whiskey. So like I said, we're trying the Redbreast 15, a 15 year old pot still whiskey, meaning that it's made from both a mash bill of malted and unmalted barley, which is pretty unique to Ireland. And it also sits at 46% ABV. It's been matured in casks that are both refill and first fill, but it seems a little bit mysterious to find out what those casks are. And the most I can find is kind of the finest oak casks. But yeah, a little bit of a mystery. We'll have a little look on it anyways. The Redbreast website is also really interesting if you're curious about things like history and the Irish whiskey history and of course the history of the company. And they have this lovely timeline so you can see what happened in what years. Um, so if you're interested in history, like I am, you should check that out as well. It's almost too much for me to sit and read out here, uh, but hopefully when I've collected a few more sources, I'll be able to chat a bit more about Irish whiskey history as well. And Redbreast, I believe, is also the largest selling pot still whiskey in the world. So they build up quite a good reputation. A lot of people like them. And I know there's a lot of people here on my channel that have requested it. And I, of course, love when you request whiskies and I'm able to get a hold of it so I can try it for you. But let's start by having a little look on the notes. Sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's immediately very tropical and quite heavy. Like that kind of sweet tropical density. Um, like almost the kind of like mango tropical notes, maybe a little bit banana that you would expect from something that's been maturing in a hot climate. So that kind of density. Yeah, quite a, a, the sweetness is definitely there, but it's quite soft. It belongs more to the fruitiness of the tropical fruits than any other kind of sweetness, I think. It also has this kind of tropical grassiness, so it's not freshly cut grass, but it's more when the air is quite humid and you have the scent of grass. Hmm. Yeah, it's more, I, I, I associate this scent with maybe if you are traveling to a hotter climate and you step out of a car or something and you're surrounded by nature and there's this grassiness in the air, but it's very damp and quite humid, very thick air, that kind of grassiness. I think that tropical and the dense grassiness is probably the most, the things I'm getting the most on the nose. This is a really bad time of year for me because I am very allergic to pollen and my nose keeps blocking up so I don't know if that's having any impact on this but hopefully not. I have taken my nose spray and everything so I think it should be fine but let's have a little taste instead. Slangeva. Mmm. Hmm. It is very tropical and I spoke about this in another video. When I close my mouth and I breathe out through the nose, there's this lovely lingering big tropical flavour on the back of my tongue. Quite spicy. But it's that tropical fruitiness that almost mixes with something that's a little bit metallic. Like a metallic malty spiciness. It doesn't at all feel as dense on the palate as it does on the nose. It's much of a lighter mouthfeel. I 
feels a little bit thicker now. But I just felt like the first initial thought of that just swept past me like a breeze. And the only thing that was left was this kind of metallic spiciness with a hint of those tropical fruits. And I would say it's probably more like mango, papaya, stone fruit esque. Less banana, but it mixes really well with the malty notes. And the malty notes also feels a little bit dry on the palate. Maybe toward like wet hay ish. And the spices are quite like a mixture between hot, so maybe like towards. A slightly towards chili spice but also cinnamon because cinnamon has a drying kind of sensation. On the nose it also has that, I don't know if metallic is the right word but it has this kind of musty metallic earthiness which I'm also getting on the nose now. I wonder if that might have something to do with like the essence of pot still whiskey. I always think it's fun to explore pot still whiskey, but I wouldn't say I've drunk enough to be able to pinpoint exactly what the character of pot still whiskey is compared to other whiskies. So if you're a big pot still drinker, pot still whiskey drinker, I would of course love to hear your thoughts on what makes pot still whiskey unique. What flavors, what aromas would you say sums up that category? Is there any? Is it this thing that I'm getting that I'm struggling a little bit to explain perhaps? Uh, I always love to learn and I think you guys are such a good source of knowledge as well. So please, please put it in the comments so I can learn it for the future. But as always, I would of course love to hear what you think of Red Breast 15. Is it your favourite in the series or is there another Red Breast that you think is even better? They of course have a nice portfolio with of course the 12 and the 21 and they're dream task series which looks always looks so so nice and of course if you like what i'm doing here on youtube and my other social channels i would be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links with master of malt the whiskey exchange or the scotch malt whiskey society the next time you're shopping with them all the information is in the description below as well as links to my website my patreon my teespring shop where you can find this lovely t-shirt and of course my instagram which you should check out if you want to be a part of that competition and it's open to international entries as well but I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Slender Bath. Skål.